Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Resident Evil Zero. Nope, wrong button. Right, we've been to the kitchen. Where was the other door? It was this way, wasn't it? No, that, that's a clock door. So it's up here. We need to find Billy some ammo so he can be useful. Is this the right way? I can't remember. I never did really learn the layout to this one. Uh, yes, I think it is this way. Right, cool, we can chuck that. If you can hear laughing in the background, it's my roommate. You see, no pushing boxes or tables or anything in the remakes. That's that's what was missing. <laughs> I'll check it out. Roger. You stay up there because I think I've got to hit the switch. First, no, oh, damn it, I can't pick it up. Right, all right, let's drop that for now. Pick up the bullets. There you go. Pick those back up. Right. Billy's now all set. That's what I need. Grab some shotgun shells. Yeah, I'm sure the globe's very nice, Rebecca, but I want the shotgun shells. That's not what I wanted to do either. Here we go. Right. We'll do that and then there you go. You've got some shotgun shells as well. There you go. Everyone's happy. Assistant Director's Diary, September 2nd. A useless bunch of trainees as always. Where does headquarters find these idiots? We did get a couple of decent ones though, so I can't complain I guess. William and Albert. They might have a future. September 25th. Scholar, Will, Practical, Al. They really are opposites. And they're, and they're, and they're always competitive in everything they do. There's something ruthless and cruel about them though. October 7th. Got a sudden call from the director. It was to tell me to encourage a rivalry encourage a rivalry between those two. It's the first time since this training facility was built that director Marcus has ever shown interest in anything other than his research. Well, whatever, orders are orders. I'm going to have them tearing each other's throats out. Ooh, how ironic. I imagine that's probably how you died. Having your throat ripped out by a Zambo. I could probably pop back in here now. Because Billy Billy's lighter works, we can unlock this door in here. Right, 
Really, I need your special skill. There we go. Okay. Uh, switch back to the handgun for now. I'd rather save the shotgun shells for larger enemies. There we go, teamwork. Hello, Billy. Got uh, grenade grenade rounds. Nice. Where did the where did the there they are? Don't want to leave those. Leave that one precious shotgun shell behind. Rebecca. I'm glad I remembered you can actually move her with the other stick. Right, Rebecca, reading's your your thing. Good. Alright. What do you have for me? What's in the good book? A pair of wangs. Excellent. Alright, I think we're officially done with this part of the area. <coughs> now I can head back, put the wings on the little statue, and then head upstairs to put the minute hand in the clock, open up the clock doors. I think that's right. I'm trying to remember. It's not going well. <coughs> Damn hay fever. the Molotovs here for now. Right. Stick you there because you're done. Don't need to do anything else with you. Is it this way? To the clock? Yes. God, that was a lot of stairs. A lot of stairs. People here must have been really fit. Who needs a gym when you've got that many stairs? Jesus. Oh. Billy, leave the crows alone. Do not need you wasting ammo on the crows. Even though there is herbicals up here. There we are. <coughs> mm. 
No, I need you to go around to here. And it's 8.15. 10, 9, 8. That should be it. What a convoluted locking system. I mean, clearly they've got shit to hide. If they have to put a system in that convoluted, you know they're hiding some shady shit. You missed. And good boy Billy for ignoring the birds. Unlike the leech guy who I told you to ignore. Alright, let's go check out the clock doors now. In your own time, Billy. Billy Bob. this one up here so let's go to this one first as it's the nearest no other reasoning well I'm out of uh, handgun what about you? You're out of handgun. Right, use you you use that. Help. Oh, Billy. Thank you. A verse of poetry. The moon bows to the earth. The earth swears loyalty to the sun. And the great law of the sun governs all things. This is it. This itself is the keystone, the pointer to glory. All our hands cannot open the door to heaven. Well, it was cryptic, but it didn't rhyme, so you fail. Everyone knows a good poem rhymes. God, Rebecca, you really are weak. I right, guess I'm giving Billy all of those bullets. I'll have the rest back though. Don't say, don't say I never did nothing for you, Billy. Ah, I put A down somewhere, didn't I? I think that's in the main hall. Down, which is downstairs and I think the projector is behind the other clock door so I better pick up the other microfilm but first Rebecca's not looking too hot there we go there, easy More herbs than there. Okay. No, I just remembered where I dropped it. It's... Billy put it down. The genius that he is, right behind the statue. That, that, was, a, that was big brain. Big brain energy there, Billy. Well done. Put it in a place so safe we almost lost it. God 
damn it, Billy. There we go. You better not have been wasting my ammo. Billy! Da 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 da! Hey! Da 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 da! Da 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 da! Hey! Da da! Next time I'm being chomped on, feel free to jump in any time. Useless boy. But look, handgun bullets. And I'm back on caution. Billy, you are useless. Pick up those bullets. Right, we've got 30. Right, we'll do that in a second. No! Oh, keep pressing the wrong button. That's definitely one of the downsides to this whole character switching. Right, let's put you in. Uh, insert the next one. Right, this is going to be important. Uh, I'm going to take a picture. Yes, phone. I know it's payday tomorrow. I'm excited too. Uh, right. I can't remember if... If it's the stage up here with zero and one, or if the stage is down at the bottom by uh, scene D. No, that is the stage. I can see the stairs. So, yeah, the stage is where the numbers are and the letters are at the back. All right. Now we need to take this disc to that room. An image resulting from overlay microfilms A and B. Numbers appear on the seats of the conference room. There we go. Put the disc in and it tells us which ones we need to press. Was there a health thing here? No, but you have bullets, Billy, and I want them. There we go. And then combin and put you in there. There. Harmony. But Billy, this time, try not to get snatched. And I'm probably on orange caution now. Let's have a look. Yes. Right, is there a red and a green herb here? Yes. Okay, so what we're going to do is pick up you. Combine with you. Right, hopefully that's a f that should be a full hill, a full healy. So Rebecca should last a bit longer now. All right, so numbers at the front, letters at the back. Enter the MoDisc. 
Excellent. Okay, please enter passcode. Z right, hang on. Zero A. Alright. Zero one. You stay here. Yeah. Uh, files. That's the one. An A is second from the back on the right. So, no. This one. So that's zero and that's A. Did I do it? Yes! a note there. How come I didn't see that one before? Regulations for trainees. Training facility mission. This training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corp. That seems extreme for a company. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility will, without regard for gender, race or creed, produce only the best candidates for the future global leaders of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to the development of your leadership qualities. Training facility guidelines. Discipline. Obedience. Unity. These three words are the basic principles on which govern Umbrella Corporation employees and are to be considered the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourselves to your training and bring honour to yourselves and the corporation. Okay, relax. You're just a pharmaceutical company with shady military underdealings and developing bioweapons. James Marcus, Director, Umbrella Corporation Management Training Facility. It's, being proud of your company is one thing, but there's... Billy, what are you doing? Yeah, we're going this way. Ya moose. What's behind door number this one? Right, I'm not going to waste any more shotgun shells on you. And neither are you, Billy. Oh, you haven't got any. <laughs> well, just as well then. Never mind, Billy. It won't, it's not even worth me saying it anymore, is it? No, let's go in here first. More boules. How many? Fifteen. I'll hold on to it. I'm going to hold on to these for now. Ooh, flame rounds painting here. It's covered with so much. Uh, Billy, I'm going to let you grab those. You've got the grenade launcher. Yeah, I know it's a very pretty painting. I want the grenades. They are the flame kind. The ones that you can use on the leech people. It's a 
chessboard. The game appears to have ended in checkmate. Is there a note on here that I can read? Alright. You stay here. Okay. Let's take a look at these chess pieces. Okay, so we've got the rook and the king on the right. The black king on the far left. Another rook up, uh, next to the white king. And is that the queen or a bishop in front of the rook? I think that's a bishop. Okay, so it's rook, king, rook, bishop and king. All right. So you need to be moved up here first. And then over here. And then we move the king down to the rook. Evil. <gasps> Is it written by a resident? Wait, there's something more here. Marcus's diary number one. December 4th. We finally did it. The new virus. We have called it the progenitor. I want I want to carry it back and start you. Start detailed investigations immediately. March 23rd. Spencer says he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care, as long as I can continue my research into Progenitor. He can do what he likes. August 19th. Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of his new training facility. Maybe it's because of the business, but he's becoming intolerably pushy. But maybe I can turn this to my advantage. I need a special facility to properly explore all the virus all the virus's secrets. A place where no one will get in the way. November 30th. Damn that Spencer. He came to complain to me again today. He thinks of Progenitor as nothing more than a money-spinning tool. Fool. But if his influence continues to grow, it can only be bad for my research. If I'm to properly develop Progenitor, I must strengthen my own position too. September 19th. At last. I've discovered a way to build a new virus type with Progenitor as a base. Mixing it with leech DNA was, was the breakthrough I needed. I will call this new virus T for Tyrant. October 23rd. It's no good. I can't hope for real progress experimenting on mere rodents. Only humans can be a proper mammalian, mammalian subject for the exper experiments. Otherwise, I'll never make any real progress. November 15th. Someone seems to... Someone seems to... Oh, God. English is hard. Someone seems to suspect something about my experiments. But perhaps it's just my imagination. Well, if anyone does get too close, they may find themselves unexpectedly assisting in my research. January 13th. At last, they are ready. My wonderful leeches. Those of low intelligence... They will never have the privilege of tasting this sense of joy and satisfaction. Now finally I can move against Spencer. Soon I will control everything. January 31st. The devices I set to protect my work have been disturbed. It appears someone came looking for tea and the leeches. Fool! No doubt the work of Spencer's group. February 11th. Today I again found evidence of tampering around the entrance to the labs. If what if that is what there are if that is what they're after, they must find a suitable way I must find a suitable way to deal with them. Perhaps I should have William and Albert smoke the pet smoke out the pests. These two are the only ones I trust, apart from my beloved leeches, of course. But Spencer, it wouldn't end there, would it? I will announce tea at the next director's meeting and collect my just rewards. I think you might have put your trust in the wrong people there, Marcus. We've got all we need from, from here. Let us move on. Uh, 
Hang on, I need to read this evil of resident book. What do you have for me? It's a win! I wonder what that could be for. Alright, what's in here? Sorted. Hey! Good boy, Billy. Uh, combine. I suppose you need some bullets. Yeah, we'll do that. And then do that. You can have these as well. Because I'm just that generous. Some blue herbs there. First aid spray. So anything in this room I actually need. Let's hold off on that for now. Hang on, I saw a note on the bed. There we go. First investigation unit notes. We are searching the facilities and it looks like a lot of chemicals a lot of the chemicals survived. Fortunately the storage tanks are still all full. We have just started and there is still a lot we don't know but it appears that the chemicals can be mixed to produce new substances. The chemicals are scattered all about. Not because of the accident, more a result of plan of plain mismanagement. When we reopen the facilities we will have to develop a system for dealing with these chemicals. Something is scored on the back of the note. Red plus blue equals sulfuric acid. Green plus red equals stripping agent. Ah, I've played this game numerous times and I don't think I've ever picked up that note. I always mix the chemicals by luck. <laughs> Alright, okay, I now have the green chemical. If I mix it with a red one, that will make the stripping agent. I'm going to take this with me. I think I'm all full now, aren't I? What about you, Billy? Yeah. Okay, we're good. Put the wing on the statue. Put the statue. Hang on, is there a second wing for the black one? Or has it already got the other wing? I can't remember. I think it's already got the wing. So we'll drop the first aid spray. Oh, see, look. See, you see that, Billy? How I left it in plain sight? Idiot. Okay. There. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. A secret room behind a painting? Never would have suspected such a thing. And I think this is an opportune moment to bring this episode to a close. We've made some fairly good progress, I think. There's an old typewriter. Yes, and we're going to use it to save. And I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil Zero. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.